Out vaccines. We'll talk about how we're doing overall in both Oregon and Washington. Now, as of this afternoon, 1.4 million, nearly 1.5 million people in the state of Oregon have gotten the first dose of the vaccine. A lot of those people have gotten the second dose as well, but it puts us at 35.5% of the state's population with at least one shot. In Washington, more than 2.83 million people have gotten that first dose. You look there, it got, has them close to 40%, so over 37% of Washington's population with at least one shot. Now let's take a, a closer look at some of these numbers. One of the Oregon counties you could say doing the best at vaccinating its residents doesn't have many residents. Wheeler County has vaccinated about 37% of its population. Only about 1400 people live there. Wallawa County with 7000 people there. They vaccinated close to 40%, 39% of the people who live there. And Hood River County has vaccinated 42% of the people who live there. Now let's compare that with the metro counties. 36% of the people in Multnomah County are vaccinated, 32% of Washington County and 32% in Clackamas County. There are a lot of challenges when it comes to vaccinating people in rural areas though. I mean, some of these counties are huge. They're really big. People live really far apart. It's kind of hard to get the word out sometimes and it's hard to get people scheduled to get them to a vaccine appointment, especially something local. So we sent a team to Columbia County where about 25% of people are vaccinated to see how they have been able to solve some of those problems. In the tiny community of Mist Birkenfield, Oregon. It's just shy of 1,400 residents, over 165 square miles. The local fire station does a lot more than put out fires. Getting horses out of creeks and cows out of mud and cats out of crawl spaces. Uh, we'll go out and help people just uh, gather firewood uh, because they just don't have the ability to do it. Uh, make sure they have plenty of wood to get through the winter. They host events like a weekly coffee group and take donations for local schools and people in need. And volunteers make sure everyone is taken care of. We'll reach out to people in need in our community and make sure they have uh, food and water and resources, money to keep the electricity on. And who could forget the great toilet paper shortage of 2020? The fire station made sure everyone had that too. And everybody supports each other, whether it's an individual family that has a need or it's a community that has a need. Everybody kind of pulls together and it's just a, it's an amazing feeling. When vaccines for COVID-19 became available, pandemic chief Larry Boxman set up his own clinic right here in the fire station. He took the classes, got the funding, and now people from all over Columbia County can get their shots without driving hours away. Having our district residents drive to Portland or even to St. Helens, which is about an hour away, would be, it would be extremely inconvenient. Kim Tierney has been helping people set up appointments. People in rural areas don't travel out of that area all that much. A lot of people don't. They started trying to get uh, into uh, Portland to the convention center and they would wait and wait and wait and they just couldn't get an appointment. You've got people that are so frustrated that they're pulling their hair out. The bleeding disorders or blood thinners. And then there are people like Ralph Stafford and his wife, Marge. They wouldn't be able to go out and get the vaccine at all. They're homebound because of health issues. But Larry and his team delivered both doses to their door. Oh. It's okay. Last time I tried to move her to go someplace, it was really hard and it hard on her. So this was this was a good good thing for me. Perhaps the best part is Ralph didn't even have to make an appointment. The fire station called him because it's a small town and they know each other. Because we do have uh, such close knit community members and people working together, we're able to accomplish some great things. And I think this clinic is, a, is an example of that.